Hello, fifth graders, and happy Monday. I hope that everyone enjoyed their weekend. Uh, we did have a little bit of sunshine at least. It wasn't quite as cold as it has been or had been or could be, I guess. And so I hope you were able to maybe get outside and play a little bit and have a good time. So we are back at it with another full week in our second quarter out there um, making good choices, getting your classwork done, retaking any of those tests that we need to retake, taking on that responsibility to make sure that we're doing the learning, the relearning and the contract and all of those things so that we can retake and make sure that we're mastering those skills uh, that our teacher's trying to teach us. So one thing I wanna talk about, I have a an uptick in kids that are coming to my office for a specific reason. And that reason is they're putting their hands on each other. Now, not full blown like we're punching each other or like having these big huge fights, but we are uh, putting our hands on each other in ways that are inappropriate in school. And so I just wanna remind you that that will get you a consequence. At the very least, it will get you an after school detention, possibly a Saturday school, or most likely some kind of suspension. So your hands are to yourself. If you are in a situation that is making you angry, you need to remove yourself. Go find a teacher, go ask for help. Step out of that situation before it escalates and then it escalates and then everybody gets in trouble. Um, we're not messing around with our friends and wrestling or pushing each other in the hallway. These things are all going to get us in trouble. So just another warning that uh, I'm seeing more and more of this. I'm having more and more phone calls with parents where I have to explain that at the middle school, we take that very seriously and that any hands-on is going to get you sent to my office with some kind of consequence. So keep those hands and feet and objects to yourself. So the month of November, there's a holiday, right? We all know what holiday is in the month of November. It's Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is all about the things that we're thankful for. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what um, it means to be thankful and things that we're thankful for over the course of the month. And today I have a kid president video for you on the, I believe it's 25 things that he is thankful for. Most of which I agree and I'm also thankful for. I would probably add a few of my own, maybe take off one or two of his, but I want you to start thinking about the things, the people uh, that you're grateful for in your life, the people that love you, the people that you love, the things that you have um, that you need to survive and to be comfortable and uh, we'll have some opportunity kind of to talk about those throughout the month. So have a wonderful Monday and I will see you tomorrow. So let's be real, some days are hard. So I made this list of awesome things I'm thankful for. Yeah, sometimes I need reminding that things are not all that bad. So I wanted to share a few because you guys are my friends. It's great to be alive and here's some reminders why. First one, bubble wrap. When cats do their tongue, like this. I'm also thankful for the little paw pads that the cats and dogs have and the sound it makes. Paw oh, pads. I love them. Hey, turn that back on. Oh, no, 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 no. Change it, change it. Ah, there, that's better. Music Tomorrow is Halloween, and you better. are allowed to Say wear your costume life. to school. Say it must be school appropriate. It must be something that you'll be comfortable it. in if all day, that you can sit in your, your desks or your chair it. in um, all day really long. Good. Your Old face cannot be fans. completely covered. Lab, you cannot like have any weapons or anything that is inappropriate at school, as that will get you in trouble. For all of the rules and guidelines, look at Without my fifth grade newsletter airplane, from Friday or Mr. Velada's family newsletter from Sunday. Fans. Everything that you are and are not allowed to do is fans. in there. I cannot wait to see Fresh you in your costumes there. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Three. Clothes with funny names like Windbreaker. <laughs> Birthday cake. No reason at all cake. Just cake. Sorry, I we filmed this while I was hungry. Forgiveness! I'm Kid President, but I ain't perfect. Ain't, ain't a word. We all mess up, come on. Don't mess up and forget to forgive all the mess ups. 
Thankful plants undergo photosynthesis using the energy from the sun to convert carbon dioxide to oxygen, providing us with the air we need to do things like this. I'm bored. <laughs> Morgan Freeman's voice. Hello, I'm Morgan Freeman. I'm working on it. My voice is changing, but it hasn't changed that much. Food. Doggo. Burger. <laughs> I know, I know, I already said food, but this is my list and my rules. Happiness. Sadness. Sad isn't bad. It helps you know what you care about. People. Sometimes people can be really people, but we need each other. Life's better with people in it. Family, friends, you. Just being alive. Sometimes we forget how it's just great to be alive. We're breathing. Some days are tough, but we got a lot to be thankful for. We just have to look for it sometimes. They say if you have food in your fridge, clothes on your back, and a place to sleep, you're richer than 75% of the world. I did not know that. So what would you add to the list? Let me know. Share this video with someone you're really thankful for. Oh, and of course, also this. Dancing! <laughs> Brad and I are thankful for all of you. Seriously, thanks for giving us and the whole world a reason to dance. So what are you thankful for? Let me know. KP out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I call this move the stove top stuffing. I call this one the stuffed face nene. I forgot one. There's something that I'm really thankful for. Uncle Jesse from Full House. This is macaroni art of him. It's beautiful. Have mercy. <laughs> I'm filming a video to encourage people to be faithful. KP out. Titan's Pledge. As a Titan, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. I pledge to pursue excellence, live with integrity, and act with purpose.